Commercial pilots fly and navigate airplanes, helicopters, and other aircraft. In this video, we will go over what commercial pilots do, the job market for commercial pilots, what kind of money they make, and more. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. We have weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other general career information. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button to support this channel. An aircraft pilot controls the flight of an aircraft. In this video, we are focusing on commercial pilots rather than airline pilots. If you are interested in airline pilots, check out my other video by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. Commercial pilots in the United States are involved in unscheduled flight activities. This could involve a number of different kinds of activities. Commercial pilots fly chartered flights, which are unscheduled flights outside of the airlines. They work as flight instructors, teaching others aviation. They also work as cargo pilots, flying freight across the country and possibly the world. To become a commercial pilot, you typically need a high school diploma or equivalent. This is unlike airline pilots, which are required to have at least a bachelor's degree. After getting a high school diploma, they have to begin the process of getting a commercial pilot's license from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. For more details on this, definitely check out the FAA's website. So who do commercial pilots tend to work for? Commercial pilots work in a variety of different settings. 31% work in non-scheduled air transportation. This could be cargo flights, or this could be charter flights. 11% work in education, teaching others aviation. 10% work in air transportation support. 10% work in ambulance services, which is in the healthcare industry. And 4% work in manufacturing. It's kind of surprising, I wouldn't think this, but manufacturing on average pays commercial pilots the most with an average base salary of $104,880. Next in line is non-scheduled air transportation, which on average pays around $82,000, education around $81,000, ambulance services around $77,000. Next, let's take a look at the national job market. There has been a lot of volatility in the number of jobs for commercial pilots. In the year 1999, the government recorded around 18,000 jobs for commercial pilots. The number of jobs really ramped up until 2008. From 2008 to 2009, commercial pilots lost a couple thousand jobs. This is during the Great Recession, but jobs bounced back very quickly. In the year 2019, the government recorded around 38,000 jobs for commercial pilots. But as you can see, the number of jobs have been dropping over the past couple of years. Also, another big thing to consider is this includes 2019 data and not 2020 data yet. This chart doesn't include the number of jobs influenced by the coronavirus. We just don't have that data yet, unfortunately. We will have to wait and see until next year to see how many commercial pilots were impacted by the coronavirus. All in all, from 1999 to 2019, the number of jobs for commercial pilots rose by about 19,000 jobs. The government is actually pretty optimistic regarding the future job growth for commercial pilots. Many pilots are older and retiring soon. So the idea is there will be a lot of job opportunities from the need to replace pilots leaving the industry. Also, one big prediction is that there will be a need for more ambulance pilots working in healthcare in the future. Here are the government forecasts from 2018 to 2028. We don't yet have the 2019 to 2029 forecasts that's coming out soon. The government is predicting an increase of about 3,000 jobs for commercial pilots from 2018 to 2028. This is slightly less than for airline pilots, where the government is predicting about 4,000 jobs. But this is really good compared to air traffic controllers who aren't seeing any job growth at all, only about 300 jobs. And for water transportation workers that work on boats as captains, the government is actually predicting job losses over the next 10 years. Next, let's take a look at what commercial pilots earn nationally. These are just the base salaries. They don't include overtime or benefits. In 1999, the average base salary for a commercial pilot was around $56,000. In 2019, the government recorded the average base salary for commercial pilots at $102,870. So wages rose for commercial pilots by around $47,000 from 1999 to 2019. This is kind of how the average 2019 salary breaks down. I would peg the starting salary anywhere between slightly both below the 10th percentile and up to the 25th percentile. This would put the starting salary anywhere below 45,000 and up to around 63,000 per year. So how much do the top 10% of commercial pilots earn? They start at around 180,000 and go up from there. So there is a huge disparity in pay among commercial pilots. 
And you're also going to see a huge disparity in pay among airline pilots as well. Are you interested in becoming a commercial pilot? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.